Hello everyone, I thought I would do a video just showing how the MDHX can be used uh, in its up-down cross conversion mode. There seems to be quite a bit of confusion as to how to get it to work. There are actually two things you need to set up before it will work in its up-down cross mode. So you can see here at the bottom, I have it coming out at 3G 1080p 50. Um, so I'll show you how to set up the uh, MDHX for use as an up-down cross converter. So if we go across into control, press enter into control, you will see here that it says SDI outsource and then HDMI outsource. To be able to use the up-down cross converter, you need to make sure this is set on scalar, not SDI in or HDMI in. Once that's done, you can uh, right arrow across or left arrow across to the DUC source, which is the down up cross source. It's currently set to SDI in. So if you have a HDMI in that you want to change from HDMI to SDI, whilst using the up-down cross converter, it would not work if SDI in is sec uh, selected. So you need to come in, change it to HDMI in or SDI in. Once you have done those two things, it should then work, providing it's set up correctly, to the correct up, down, cross, or whatever you set it to. Now to set your actual scaling, you need to go into scaling and click on out, uh, output format. Now I live in Australia, so I use um, PAL standards. And most of my footage is done at 1080p 50. I will sometimes use 1080i 50. If you are using this on a Blackmagic system and you are using it in NTSC and you need to do 1080i60, you need to set this device to 1080i59.94. Um, the other great thing about the MDHX is you can actually set it to be a hub. So you can put one input in, uh, SDI input, and have all four of these inputs come out the same if you like. So it's a, a hub amplifier. Um, you can also have it so you bring something in from SDI or HDMI. And number one will be set to loop, and number two down here, so this is your first output, this is your second output. The number one connector on the front, on the side over here will be set to loop. Now you turn that off, uh, it's set by default as loop. Um, so you can turn that off by going into, uh, I believe it's control, and H, uh, output one is loop. So I've got mine set to no. So it won't copy whatever you put in. Now that may be useful if you're using it for something like, uh, say you want to bring in a camera, but the projector you're feeding to doesn't take uh, 1080p 50, it only takes 1080i 50. So you could therefore use your up, down, cross, send it out as number two here, or send it out on the first input, second output. Um, that would then go to your um, projector, which would be then taking the 1080p, sorry, 1080i 50, and the 1080p 50 signal can come out the loop out and go into whatever else it may be, so that, whether that be a Blackmagic ATEM or something along those lines. Just one more quick thing, if you are using a Blackmagic system, make sure you go into control and set your out, uh, sorry, your 3G output is B level and not A level. If you leave it as A, um, it will not work on a Blackmagic ATEM. And keeping in mind, 3G output it only affects progressive sig uh, signals, not interlaced signals. So hopefully that clarifies everything to do with these guys. They're very simple to use, though they are a little bit convoluted in regards to setting up. So hopefully that clarifies any issues. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you and have a great day.